Hello everyone and welcome to this gaming episode of NeoGAF News. Where I will talk about gaming threads from the NeoGAF News from now and until the last time I made an episode which was like all the way back in early June if you don't count the E3 episode which was E3 only. So anyway, uh, so apparently Nintendo was going to cancel a stream that was donated for by charity. I don't know the specifics. I cause I'm not into the fighting game community, but it was for a fighting game tournament, and it was for Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And they were going to cancel it. Not were well, not can completely cancel it. Just cancel the streams. But apparently they went back on it, which is good. But here is what a, a couple of people had to say about this. Getem Ma said, "In a way, free exposure for our products." Yeah, fuck that. Jesus, Nintendo, you need... You have no fucking clue what you are doing. This confirms it. All of the brass needs is to put out pasture, including Weiji and Iwata. Keep the developers... Keep the developers. They are great. Keep Miyamoto and Schwinnen, obviously, but the rest of the executive level at Nintendo hasn't done anything but it in a long time. They fucked up the 3DS large in price. They fucked up the Wii U hardware strategy and launch games and price. They fucked up with third parties. They stock as tanks as we wind down. They crank down all on the wrong things on YouTube and now Evo. The online strategy is half-assed. I don't know what more evidence that you need. These guys are incompetent and growing more incompetent by the day it seems. Big in, I love you guys, but you are being led by people who have no idea what the industry has turned into right beneath their noses. I have to agree with this between th this whole Evo stuff and Nintendo taking down Let's Plays. Well, they didn't take the down, they just monetized it. I, uh... I don't monetize my videos, not now. I don't think I really ever will because it always annoys me when I get as and, and as you've seen, I only get like at the most like seven or eight views a video, usually less than that. So there's really no point in, in monetizing, even if I do let's plays. But it is annoying for people because let's plays can be a harder war, not f too much for me since I just put a camera on the screen. But I can imagine how hard it can be for, for other people. Even, uh, I mean, PewDiePie, uh, Game Grumps. It can be pretty hard for them. Two best friends play. I like all of them. And pretty much any, even just pointing at the camera screen can be a bit difficult setting up. Because you got to get the right angle. You got to make sure you don't bump the camera while you're playing if the camera's in the way. Because I got my cam on my bed. I'm on my bed when I'm doing it. So I basically can't move at all while I'm doing a Let's Play. Uh, also, I'm trying a different microphone. Like I said, the last one was kind of not working. So we'll see how this one goes. In the same thread about Nintendo of America not allowing Super Smash Bros. Melee to be streamed to Evo, uh, QQ Morris said, Wait, Nintendo was actually listening? This isn't right when referring to that they listened and they reversed the decision. What's going on? This is too good to be true. And then he quotes Seven Force, which, which said, I heard thunder outside my window as soon as I wear this wheel. And then QQ Moore said to this quote, Oh, fuck. Everyone get the fuck out of here while you can. Oh, this is about to blow up and kill all life as we know it. Fuck. Dude. The 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 uh what I like to call question of the month by Enshwiment. Uh third title is after a full generation, what are your thoughts on the downloadable content experiment? As a the gen comes to a close, what do you think about one of the most controversial your I'm really missing my words in this episode. Aspects of it. Downloadable content. Do you purchase a lot of it? Was it a good value? Proposition for you. How should it improve going forward? I know many still hate downloadable content to this day. I'm, uh, I'm just going to say that for the most part, I don't bother with downloadable content. 
because it's usually pointless stuff. I don't care about different costumes for the most part. Maybe a couple, like on Little Big Planet. I haven't gotten it yet, but there's a there's a Johnny costume that I want to get. It's because I like Johnny so much. But for the most part, I wouldn't bother with it. I understand why they do it. I don't mind it in stuff like Little Big Planet where they sell in costumes. As long as there's some good costumes built into the game, and there always is, that you can unlock to single player. Uh, I don't mind it in stuff like PlayStation All Stars Battle Royal, where they. With a fighting game, they really should probably have all the characters in the game in the beginning, which is, I'm hoping there's no downloadable content for Super Smash Bros. Ball. Just because I think it feels more complete like that, but at the same time, how can you claim about more characters than Super Smash Bros. Ball? I mean, Super Smash Bros. 4. I keep saying Ball. Uh, yeah, PlayStation All-Stars and Super Smash Bros. games are the only games I can get into, probably because they don't require any complicated button meshes, meshes to, to win. I can't memorize the button meshes. I think PlayStation also actually does require them, but you can't really notice that. And it plays so much like Super Smash Bros. I don't really care. Okay, thread by Yoshi Wider. One, two, three. One, two, three. A one, two, three. A one, two, three. One, two, three. Yoshi Wider. One, two, three. Picross E coming to North America June 13th. $5.99. $599. So finally, discuss. Coin Fest said yes. Zero is a Jupiter we did. Javier said took long enough Jupiter. Warrior 64 with the weird icons at instant buy. Jamis O Shrev said Miss Megaton time for Sonic to respond. Seriously though, this is where you're going on the end of the quest. Black said lie, my favorite buys of games. And Anna said oh my god, yes. Leroy said yay three says. Wildoff said Lord Answer said, I want the one last save before we go. Definitely gonna put it off. Morgan Free said, Choice sure, finally, I will get the free day. What all the hype was about is this totally new previous little NES game, which is the localization. <sighs> I'm talking in a weird voice. So Big O3 finally comes out. It's been out in Japan forever, out in Europe forever. We finally get it, and Picross E2 is actually coming out this month on, like, I don't know, the 25th or something of July, so, yay! We're not getting screwed with Picross! I don't really care about Picross, though. It's, it's usually too hard for me. I can't, I'm not smart enough to figure out the puzzles. But I want to get it anyway. I want to try. I want to actually try to do it. I want to try to do it. Try to do it. So, oh, please let the audio be working in this video. Poetic Injustice, who is now banned, said, posted a thread titled, Rumor, Microsoft dropping basically all Xbox One DRM announcement today. Of course, since then, it has been confirmed that they are. Here's some reactions to this before it was confirmed. Before the rumors were confirmed. I just want to read them. R.B. said, I don't buy this. I don't buy this at all. It is whack. Whack, whack, whack. I, w I, w I wanted to say the line that was for friends with the whack, but I forgot the exact lines. I'm not going to bother. Awan Hunter, who is also banned, why is everyone getting banned? So that I always go to what hi fi.com for the latest news. Why well, what hi fi is redeemed? Julie said, no way this will happen. Then what? They get rid of game sharing? Shamba said, nope. Spike of Manta said, after they said they won't. Dragon Knight said, drop the bundled connect and drop the price to $359 to $399. $399. dollars I doubt it, said Nico Mimo Mode, who is also banned. Call no nasty. I hope this doesn't stop game sharing. 
sharing your nasty to want the I am. Because you know they're not going out both. You just basically doomed us. Shry Ace JP posted a thread to my sister when everything I heard dear. I heard dear at all. My sister, for some odd reason, has come into my room for the last three days and has played Sonic the Fighters. Sonic the freaking Fighters! I cannot think of a worse game. I mean, she boots up the disc and has several other Sonic titles on it, all of which are better than Fighters. She has the option to play just about every. Uh, okay, this is the threat of the month. Every other game has been made. Sonic the Fighters! Three days straight! Every time! So today, I went to like, hey, Emma! On this club, hey! By the time I was away, I had some water machines and a bit of happy and clean to the past when I was seven! Link to the past? Hey, I was seven. She is nine. I'm sure she can handle it. So I turn off that monstrosity new on Sonic the Fighter, then put on her link to the past. She starts a lot a foul. She reads the dialogue. All right, she is leaving the house. It was my heart seeing my kid sister play the same game I love so much as a kid, and now for that matter. But then, she stops. She turns to me. I've never seen her look so serious in my existence. Big boy, though. Why does Zelda have purple hair? It's a valid question. I mean, how? First of all, how would she know that that's Link? It doesn't necessarily say that if it's her first exposure to the franchise. Um. Wait a second. Link to the past. Yeah. Zelda's calling you at the beginning. It's just, well, I guess she should know. Now that I think about it. Well, no man. I'm the one that done goofed. Pombo says this a light novel title. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, cool thread, but if your sister wants to play Sonic the Fighters later, when I was a kid, I wanted to play Yoshi's Island, and we all know how bad that game was. It wasn't bad at all. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. No! Go down. Previous page. I'm on page two of this thread, damn it. 8 bit Nate posted a thread out of Ellen Page and resemblance in The Last of Us flattered, but it was not appreciated. It appears Ellen Page is a little upset with her resemblance to Ellie from The Last of Us. Here's the quote I guess I should be flattered that they ripped off my likeness, but I'm actually acting in a video game called Beyond Your Soul, so it's not appreciated. Why should said any publicity it's good publicity glitz said she only approved them to use a likeness if it was smiling and it joke one by threat had a change threat had a change cheesecake recipe said it feels so weird that and meta to who are referring to the dual ellen page game silliness yeah apparently a lot of people think that she actually was ellen page that illy was ellen page from the last of us but, uh, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not on the page. It's Ellie. Ellie page. I think this is it. This is all I have for this episode, but check back whenever I feel like it for more episodes of Neil Gaffer News. There'll be at least one more by the end of, what month is this? It's just July. July, uh, 2000, well, I have notes, 13, 2013. And, yeah, and then more gaming and off-topic news is in the months to come. The months and years, because I will be posting this for the next 50 years. New Got News 50th Anniversary is coming on November 23rd, 2013. <laughs> you get my reference? I'm done. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out other videos and subscribe if you want and check out my other series. And until next time.